what's going on my YouTube family, so I did it. I beat the ugly stage. I'm gonna tell you how to do it in just four quick steps. So let's get into the video. What's going on YouTube, Lockstyle TV, back again with another video. So as you can see, we've made some progress. I've made a lot of progress since the last time uh, I was on here. My hair is um, no longer semi-free form. As you can tell, I've been doing quite a bit of maintenance on it. I just retwisted it actually uh, about two weeks ago and had braids in for a little while. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna teach you how to get out of the ugly stage, how to beat the ugly stage, how to avoid the ugly stage, because I know nobody wants to go through it. Everybody wants to get to the stage where they have locks as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna share that with you in just four quick steps. Let's just get into the video. I'm not gonna talk too much. Here we go. Step number one, don't start with short hair. If you wanna avoid the ugly stage, you're gonna to wanna to start your locks when they're a little bit longer, probably around three to four inches. That's gonna help you out a lot. We say is attributed to your locks, one not being mature, but them also just being really short, um, which can give it a little bit of an awkward look if they're not completely maintained. So definitely start your locks when your hair is longer, around three and a half to four inches. Step number two, start locking your hair before you actually go in and get it twisted. So what I mean by that is you want your hair to be somewhat locked, not entirely locked, because that can take you know six months to a year, but you want to you want to at least get your hair to be locking together and forming sections before you go and get your first retwist. The reason that you want to do that is because your first retwist is always going to unravel. You can't avoid that even when you start your hair locking before. It's always going to unravel. The first one's always going to unravel. But if your hair is already starting to lock and you already got some sections in, when they unravel, they're still going to hold somewhat and you're not going to lose as much progress if you start your hair we start locking your hair early. So I did that using the sponge rub method. You can do the sponge rub method. You can do the towel rub method. You can really, you can braid your hair and then unbraid it and then just let it sit without picking it back out. You can do anything, but get some sections, do something with your hair to start to lock. And if you want to instant lock with a crochet needle, if you want to mess around with interlocking, which I don't recommend messing around with interlocking right away, but if you want to mess around with a crochet needle, that's going to help as well. But have, have your hair to be somewhat locked before you actually go in and get it twisted that's gonna get you out a little bit ahead of the game when you first start your your locks out all right step number three so by now you've you know grown your hair out you started it to lock you've been using the sponge you've been using the towel rub or, or you did something you may have been playing with a crochet needle to you know put in some, a few good locks in there i know i did that because i wanted to have one at the, at the front so i did this one with a crochet needle but that's the next step number three you want to maintain your hair um, with a crochet needle and maybe even with some interlocking at this point. So once your hair has already started to lock um, and you've gotten it twisted down maybe once or maybe, maybe just before you get it twisted down, you want to take that crochet needle and you want to find the locks that look like they're going to struggle because you're going to have some problem areas like here by the sides, um, a lot up at the front, you might have some spots in the back too that just stay, stay frizzy. And if you have those problem areas in the front or in the back, it doesn't hurt to grab a crochet needle and just touch those areas up. So that's this is kind of the, pro, the 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 part I was in because this is where you can just slide in that ugly stage without realizing. You know, you've gotten you started locking your hair, you got it twisted down. Now you're like a week or two in after the retwist, and this is when that ugly stage will start to creep up on you, especially if you have type four hair that locks fairly quick. You start getting some budding, you start getting some unraveling, you'll start having some really messy looking locks. So at that point, that's when you want to maintain with a crochet needle. So you're gonna have you know flat lock. You're gonna have locks that unravel right away. Those you want to just touch up, and you don't want to just. And I don't recommend you know sitting down and doing them all at once. Um, it's kind of exhausting. What I do is when I'm watching TV, I have this like right by my side, and I'm always just you know playing with my hair and oh oh found one found one. Touch it up real quick. Oh found one. <clears throat> and you're also gonna get those those locks that were tightly twisted and they were in braids and they're kind of. Early, and those will come out over time if you don't want them to you can always use the crochet needle to touch those up too um, quick little tip on that if you just pull it straight in the direction that you want it to fall and then you crochet it while you're holding it in that direction it'll pretty much hold that way too so <clears throat> that's the biggest thing to avoid the ugly stage one you want to start locking early um, before you actually start twisting your hair down you get your hair twisted down your hair is already going to be you know halfway locked already you're going to be ahead of the game now at that point you're going to really be able to target the areas that 
are gonna come out or make your hair look ugly. So when you find those areas, you target them with a crochet needle and you clean them up really quick. Um, now this is, you might say this is cheating because it's instant locking, you may say it's not, you know, enjoying the process, but you know, the best way for me to enjoy the process is get my hair looking good. So I feel like I beat the ugly stage. Now there's still one more fourth tip. Um, I didn't forget it. Fourth tip is to just take care of your hair. You know, you want to make sure that you're washing your hair regularly. You want to make sure that you're, you know, you're putting moisturizer in your hair. You want to make sure that um, if your hair is getting dirty, that you're, you're keeping it clean. You want to make sure that you're not using products that are leaving a lot of buildup. Uh, because at the end of the day, your hair can be as maintained and at looking as fresh as you want it to. But if you have a bunch of buildup or dirt or dandruff in your hair, guess what? That's still an ugly stage. So make sure you're maintaining your hair, make sure you're, you're keeping it looking clean throughout that entire journey, throughout that entire process. So um, I'm just gonna summarize real quick the four steps that you need to avoid the ugly stage and get your locks coming in. Step number one, don't start with short hair. Step number two, start locking your hair before you go and get your first twist. Step number three, make sure you maintain those sections and those twists with a crochet needle as they start to unravel and as they start to become ugly. <clears throat> and then step number four, make sure you take care of your hair. Keep it clean, keep it moisturized. Don't let it get overrun with buildup and dandruff. So that's gonna be it for now. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Lockstyle TV and I will catch you next time.